Hey guys, this is Daniel from Cloud66. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to build a rack based stack with Cloud66 on your own server or the cloud provider of your choice. We provide native support for Rails, Sinatra and Padrino applications. So before we get started with building a stack, you are going to need access to the following. Of course, a Cloud66 account, a Git repo with your application code and a public cloud provider of your choice. If you don't want to use a cloud provider, that's fine, you can also bring your own server. We build your stack in three simple steps. Step 1. Cloud66 analyzes your application and returns the configuration details detected. Step 2. After the analysis is complete, you have the opportunity to verify the configuration details and define deployment properties to fire up the stack. Step 3. Once you hit deploy stack, we take care of provisioning the server and set up the stack. We'll drop you an email when your stack is ready to rock. Great! So let's see this thing in action. Already signed in. Uh, the first thing I need to do is choose what kind of stack I want to deploy. I will choose the classic stack option to get started. If you want to go straight to deploying your own private application code, make sure Cloud66 has access to your code base using our public key. For now, we're going to use a public Git repository with a Ruby on Rails example, using a MySQL database as a backend. The next step is to specify which branch should get deployed. I'll choose the master branch for now. I will give my stack a new name example rails my new stack is going to run in a development environment it's worth noting that um, development environments in cloud 6 are always free to deploy looks good to me now we know where to find the application code i just hit analyze and wait for the configuration details great so cloud 6 has detected we're dealing with a rails application running in a development environment and using vision passenger as an application server i can review all the detected settings and make adjustments where i need to because this is the first time running the application, let's check schema load to make sure the database is set up nicely when we run the stack for the first time. Okay, I want to deploy my application on a public cloud. Uh, I already added my digital ocean credentials. I can choose straight away what I want to deploy to. So choose Amsterdam 3 on a virtual machine with one CPU and one gigabyte of RAM. We work with all the major cloud providers, including Rackspace, Azure and AWS to name a few. Cloud66 detected we are using MySQL and I choose how I want to access and deploy my backend server. For this example, I choose locally, but if you want to prioritize performance, you can always deploy MySQL on a dedicated server. If you need some custom setup, you can always add a manifest file to your application code to describe the infrastructure needed by clicking here. When you're done, hit deploy stack and uh, off we go. Deploying a stack can take some time depending on the workload, so relax, sit back and let us do all the heavy lifting. Cloud66 will notify you when your stack is up and running, or you can watch the log files live to see what's being done behind the scenes. Great, so we've got our real stack up and running. I recommend you explore all the features Cloud66 has to offer in the navigation menu, and when you're ready, you can clone the stack into a production environment and run your Rails application in production. When running in production, you'll be able to add load balancing, manage and verify backups, and scaling your application and process servers up and down when you need the capacity. Don't forget, Classic 6 provides full stack DevOps as a service to help you deploy, build, and manage your apps on any server via the cloud provider of your choice. You can click through some additional resources and also sign up to a free Cloud66 trial account. If you need more information, get in touch to talk to us about your requirements. My name is Daniel van Gils. Thanks for watching.